Welcome to Live Better Longer. I'm your host, Bill Borton. Those of you who watch the show with any regularity know that I'm all about living better longer by being personally responsible for taking care of your body, your mind, and your finances. Most people wouldn't expect a life insurance company to think the same way. But John Hancock and their Vitality program are actually helping boomers and other Americans to live better longer through a program that offers incentives and education for people doing a better job of watching what they do with, again, their bodies, their minds, and their money. So my guest this week is Greg Mack. Greg is the Chief Distribution Officer of Highland Capital Brokerage's Life Insurance Division. He has an extensive background in the insurance industry, starting out as a Cigna agent in the 1980s and eventually taking a position with Manulife and John Hancock leading their sales force. He was part of a select group of individuals at John Hancock who were responsible for bringing vitality to the U.S. insurance market. He's seen firsthand the difference Vitality Program can make in a person's life and how it can help you live better longer. Greg, welcome to my show. Bill, thanks for having me. Yeah, so Appreciate Greg, it. what is it about Vitality that you're so enthusiastic about? Well, as you mentioned about life insurance companies, I did have the opportunity to work for a life insurance company for a long period of time, and life insurance is a, kind of a strange tool for people, as you might agree. Mm -hmm. um, usually, it, the, the person who buys it hardly ever uses it themselves. Yeah. They have to die and then pass it on to somebody else. Um, the difference, I think, here is, is that uh, John Hancock brought Vitality to America, but it's a, the, lo the long story of Vitality is that it originated in South Africa mm -hmm. for a company called Discovery. Right. And what they discovered, no pun intended, what they discovered was that when you have a group of people who take care of their health, they pay attention, they want to live better longer, and they want to live a healthier lifestyle and a longer lifestyle, then those people tend to literally live longer. So in other mm -hmm. words, if you've got two groups of people and one of them don't pay any attention to their health, they're on the couch eating Cheetos and watching football games on weekends, and the other group of people pay attention to health, go to the doctor regularly, try to get sleep, exercise on a regular basis. Those, that group, the second group, typically lives better longer. Mm -hmm. And that's what vitality is all about. Because obviously from the insurance company's point of view, the longer you live, the more money they make, and it's better for them, but it's also better for you. So it's an opportunity to change insurance around. I think what attracted me to it so quickly was the fact that life insurance has been kind of the same thing. There's a lot of really great companies out there that sell life insurance mm -hmm. products. Sure. But for a long period of time, they, um, they, they've kind of sold the same type of insurance. And that is you pay a premium. If something happens to you and you die, you, you, your beneficiaries collect. And in some cases on permanent policies, as you know, they are, there, there may be some cash values involved in the policies. Mm -hmm. Vitality does something entirely different than that. It's, it's much closer, actually, to what we're used to in a frequent f flyer program for the airlines. You mean like points? Yeah, like literally points. So mm -hmm. the first thing they do is if you want to participate in this, um, they will actually give you a discount on your current premium, sometimes as much as 15%. Really? Which is sizable, yep. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started in South Africa. It's actually started about 20, 25 years ago now in South mm -hmm. Africa. And now it's around the world. They have it in Great Britain. They have it in Japan, in the Far East, besides Japan, China, et cetera, and Australia, and now in the United States. Um, the point system is fascinating because when I first heard about it, when I first tried it, I own a policy myself. I thought that might be a wise idea if Eating I was going to Eating your own sell cooking, it. huh? Yeah, I think I should do that. Okay. And um, as you can see, I eat a lot of my own cooking, but that's a story for another day. Um, the interesting thing about Vitality is that it makes you want to do this because it incents you to do it. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying we're going to give you a discount if you do something, they give you the discount up front and then say if you continue to do this, we'll continue to discount your premium. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you get points for steps. You get points for going to the doctor once a year. You get points for sleeping well. You get points in, for eating well. But along with that is a lifestyle, which I know you talk about on your show a lot, and it's the lifestyle part of it where you can literally save up to 25% off groceries. 
healthy groceries. I've mm -hmm. I've learned the hard way that I get no Twinkies, huh? I get no discount on Twinkies, but I do on oranges and and low fat milk and uh, all types of vegetables, etc. Hmm. So you get a discount off that, and 25 percent is a large discount. Now, the more you participate, the higher the discount. And I'm giving you the the higher end numbers. It could be 10 percent, it could be 15 percent, mm -hmm. or it could be 25 percent. So how do they know if you're sleeping right or long enough or uh, what you're eating? Well, they've also partnered with very large corporations. You may have heard this one corporation, it's called Apple. Uh, yeah. Okay, so with Apple, and I'm actually happy to be wearing the, an Apple watch, I got this watch from Vitality, and the price of it is $25. Wow. So what you do is you pay $25, they send you the watch, you link it in with your uh, policy online, so it's all very easy. There's to an do. app for that. There's an app for that. There's okay. an app for everything. Yeah. But there is an app for life insurance now, and it tracks what I do. Now, there are some people who go, I don't know if I want to be tracked. I think we probably need to get over the tracking part of it because I'm pretty sure we're tracked doing everything. Pretty today. much, yeah. But I choose what I want to tell the insurance company, what I don't want to choose them. So if I don't want to tell them what I'm doing in, in terms of exercise, it doesn't tell the insurance company where I am. But it does tell them that how many steps I take per day, how much I'm active. It can talk about it can talk to you in a sense about sleep on the application. How often do I sleep? Um, along with discount. Now, the, the way the watch works, I said twenty-five dollars. There's a catch. Um, I have to pay for the watch if I don't exercise. Hmm. So, in the worst example, the, the 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 worst hardship I could have is I pay twenty-five bucks up front and I pay about $15 a month for my watch. And it's interest free. So that's the worst thing that can happen. The best thing that happened, and I was ridiculously determined not to pay $15 a month for this watch. Um, they waive the $15 every month that you succeed in your efforts to be a little bit healthier, mm -hmm. to live better longer. So really, they're using a lot more carrots than sticks with this program. Oh, absolutely. Matter of fact, there's virtually no sticks. If you choose to do nothing, you enter the program and you go, you know, that was fun for a year, but I don't want to do it anymore. Your premium just goes back towards the way mm -hmm. it was originally. So there's no, there's no stick, it's all carrot. Now this program, I think John Hancock uh, adopted this back in 2015. Yes. And at that time, you had to apply for it right. for you know, when you bought a policy. But then last year, I believe they decided that it was the right thing to do to roll it out to all new and existing policy owners at no cost. Correct. But then they have a, do have a buy-up that's what, $2 a month? $2 a month, that's it. Only it, two bucks a month. It's only two bucks a month. And again, you choose what you want to do. You choose what you want to tell the insurance company. They've put other benefits on there too. I mentioned the discount for food. Uh, they have a discount for, I think many people are familiar with Hotels.com. Mm -hmm. Well, they have a discount for there up to 50% off your hotel. I think it's a, there's a, minimum, a maximum number of, of hotel stays per year and per month, but it's still 50% off whatever the going rate is. Now, didn't you tell me that you just also got a free year of Amazon Prime? That's exactly right. They started that this year as well. Another mm -hmm. company you may have heard, Amazon. Yeah, I have heard of uh, them. They've been in the news a little bit, along with Apple, although I think they compete with each other. In this case, they don't. They compete together. Um, as a member of, of, uh, of not only Apple, but of Vitality as well, they will give you up to a free mem one year free membership of Prime if you're at the top couple levels of Vitality. And there, there's levels like silver, bronze, gold, you know, mm -hmm. et cetera. Platinum. Precious metals world. Yeah, yeah they, that's all right. They decided to go away from colors apparently and went into precious metals. Okay. Right. Kind of like Obamacare. Only different. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so the benefit of obviously for people, and, and, and I can tell you countless stories of people that I've run into who have decided not only to buy for themselves, but they buy it for their family, their children. Um, you know, you can buy it even on term insurance. You can get the, the discount mm -hmm. on term insurance. Uh, so for example, uh, your daughter, if your daughter is in their 20s, for example, typically insurance premiums, as you know, are less money mm -hmm. than it is for, um, uh, for on a female than a male. So if you're a young woman buying a, a vitality policy, it's possible that your discount on food could be Complete, could completely offset 
the price of the premium, the life insurance. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't mean the insurance is free, you're still paying for it, but you're getting the discount on food. So it's a very unique thing. There, there's so many people in our country today that are vastly underinsured. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all have car insurance, we have property and casualty insurance in our home and fire insurance, and in many cases flood insurance. We buy those things. We typically buy them though because we have to. With life insurance, you don't have to. Now, there's another feature that's added on to this. On some of the policies, like many companies have, there's what they call a, um, a, 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 a I guess a, I'll call it a long-term care rider. Mm -hmm. It's actually a way to access your death benefit early. Correct. But in this case, sometimes the discount on the life insurance literally pays for the long-term care rider on the policy. I have some clients that have taken advantage of John Hancock's policy with that long-term care rider. Uh, I have to get back to them though and find out if they've signed up for Vitality. Exactly. Hmm. Because there's really no reason to, like I said, there is all carrot and no stick here. Because if they don't do it, the premium just goes back to what they had before mm -hmm. and they would have bought that anyway. I think that in the next few years, you're gonna see more and more companies try to do something like this to help people, incentivize them to, to try and buy life insurance on a more healthy basis. It's good for them, mm -hmm. it's good for the insurance carrier. But what's interesting about it is I've seen families in competition with each other. Like mom and dad will be competing with the kids to see how many steps they can get, mm -hmm. how often they can do this or that, and everybody's trying different things. You also get a Fitbit when you buy the, now this is extra, my whole $25, but you also get a Fitbit when you buy the policy as well to start from there. Hmm. And if you don't like wearing a watch or, a, or a, uh, a device, your phone can track you as well because your phone's with you and many Apple products and Android products both also track your steps every day and it happens with or without your knowledge. So this Vitality program, is this exclusive to John Hancock in the United States or is it possible for other insurance companies to sign on? Right now, um, it, it's for, I don't know the, the time period that they have a contract for Vitality, but right now it's exclusively with John Hancock. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, there are reasons why people would buy, want to buy Vitality and there may be people that don't want to buy Vitality because that's just not something they want to pay attention to. I think you're gonna find though that um, everybody who sells life insurance is going to have to probably talk about this with their client because I would not want to I would not want to buy life insurance from somebody and not have at least the opportunity to know this mm -hmm. exists and I, it's growing more quickly by each year there's more and more people involved in it well I've been aware of vitality for some time but it wasn't until I met and started to get to know you that I started to realize how amazing a program it really is and so I'm due to buy some more life insurance later this year and I think I'm going to get a John well, Hancock I might have policy. a pen. No, I don't. Um, uh, uh, you could probably handle that yourself. I can. I actually yeah. have a license and can sell insurance. That's amazing. It is amazing. Right. So, well, Greg, uh, I'd like to come back after the break and talk to you a little bit more about something else. But we're going to take a break right now for a word from our sponsors. We'll be back in a moment with more Live Better Longer and my guest, Greg Mack. RVN TV is a platform for people of any industry to share their story. Over 285,000 viewers are tuning in to RVN TV shows monthly. We guarantee a great experience that you'll be sharing with everyone you know while increasing your personal and company's brand awareness. But what is your brand? According to Forbes, it's a combination of your logo, your product, your design and feel, and your personality. Did you know that aside from being a guest, we offer even more opportunity to boost your brand? Adding your company logo and website on screen during your interview will allow viewers to recognize your brand instantly. Incorporating images and video clips is another great way to showcase your product during your live segment. Let viewers see how good you really are. And most importantly, there's you and your interview. For less than the cost of a newspaper, direct mail, or a magazine ad, you can leave our studio and within 48 hours have a permanent digital copy of your live segment to link to your social media, embed into your company website, or use in email marketing. Investing in your brand is so very important, and we can't wait to have you as a guest.
Welcome back to Live Better Longer. I'm your host, Bill Borton, here with my guest, Greg Mack. Greg, I know you spent many years at John Hancock, but you're not there anymore. You're actually with Highland Capital Brokerage. That's right. Which is one of the largest brokers of uh, insurance as a wholesaler, really, for people like me all over the country. Tell right. me about what are you doing at Highland? Well, I run the distribution for Highland. I don't work for John Hancock. We actually sell other companies' products as well. And, mm -hmm. and I know some of the carriers who might be listening to this show are going, well, I wish he'd talk about us. And I will, all okay. right, the next time we're together. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I learned over the years of being a producer, an agent, as well as working for an insurance carrier is there, there seems to be a lack of the ability to help producers grow their insurance practices. Mm -hmm. And we created something at, at Highland Capital called Muse, M-U-S-E. Mm -hmm. It is uh, from the Greek and Latin word Muse, from museum, where that's how we took it in the United States. And we picked that just because we wanted something that didn't say financial and something to say, we're gonna try and help you. Like when you walk into a museum, the idea is, is that you're gonna grow. You're, the knowledge that you gain there will help you grow. Mm -hmm. and Bill, you're a member of Muse. So uh, as, as one of the charter members of Muse in a program we started, the idea is to help producers grow their business. Um, Highland Capital itself uh, is a, the insurance arm of, 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 of a very large corporate company called Ladenburg Thalman. And with the, those type of broker dealers that associate with them, we try to sell insurance to people who sell insurance. So like yourself, we try to help you do that. Mm -hmm. And one way to do that is to talk about the different kinds of insurances, try to keep people up to date on the underwriting practices of carriers, because it's very difficult if you're a, a sole practitioner selling insurance today to keep track of all the different policies and, and the tax laws and all the new things that are out there. You, you may have heard that there's some new tax laws that came in last year. I think I did, There's yes. a rumor about it. Yeah, people have been complaining about smaller refunds. I've heard that too. Yes. I, well, I guess we're both about to find out, aren't we? Uh -huh. um, but what Highland Capital Brokerage specializes in, in, in terms of Muse, is to try and help producers grow their practices mm -hmm. to get not better what they do, because you already know what you're doing. It's how do you do it better? And I guess that goes along the line with your mm -hmm. show about living better longer. Mm -hmm. the, the more we can help a producer produce life insurance sales and help the public buy insurance, because I think it's sorely needed, Long-term care insurance is included in that. Uh, for the foreign national market, we're very big in the foreign national market. Then mm -hmm. foreign national means somebody who is not a, um, a citizen in the United States, but either has a residence in the United States or a business in the United States or property. Mm -hmm. They want to buy insurance and use U.S. currency to do that. We're able to help them do it as well. And that's another thing that Muse specializes in along with the other things I mentioned about long-term care and life insurance in general. Mm -hmm. So I've been uh, in the insurance business for about 36 years, Greg, and eight years ago I made the decision to start W.R. Borton & Associates and focus on helping high net worth baby boomers live better longer. Right. And I've been courted over the years by a lot of BGAs or wholesalers or MGAs or whatever the acronyms are that the industry is using mm -hmm. that most consumers don't really understand. But the middlemen between the insurance companies and an independent broker like me would access to be able to help my clients. And I've been offered incentives, trips to Aruba, higher commissions, uh, telemarketing and lead programs, all sorts of ways of uh, me being able to find a reason to go work with a different wholesaler. Right. But when Muse came along and found me, I, at first I thought, wait a minute, is this the real deal? because you know you and your associates were offering me things like digital marketing mm -hmm. and helping me to expand the Live Better Longer brand and practice management and things along those lines that I've never been offered before. Right. Where's this all coming from? Well, I think it's, it's I, I'm not sure exactly the question you're asking in terms of where it's coming from, but, yeah. but I think it's, it's something that is lacking in the industry today. But I mean, you know, Highland Capital, I've been familiar right. with for years. You're a very large organization. Right. You have offices all over the country. I know some people that work there who, again, work right. with broker dealers and, and wirehouse teams. But, you know, you and some of your cohorts from, from Hancock were hired to create Muse. Exactly right. We've tried to create something that didn't exist before, mm -hmm. and we're trying to use modern technology to do that. And uh, you mentioned digital marketing, things like that that are coming. AI is coming big too. 
um, along with 5G, everybody tells me mm -hmm. next year. So we'll be doing things a lot quicker, a lot more, uh, a lot more with computers than we have before. Mm -hmm. And that allows the story for a person like yourself to get out there in the marketplace quicker and easier to talk about what you can bring to them, mm -hmm. and th what you can offer them to help change their financial lives. And changing somebody's financial life, as I'm sure you would agree, it changes their whole life. So now, did Highland ask you to create Muse, or did you come to Highland with the idea? Well, it was kind of a combination of things. Um, I was brought over to try and get more business for, for Highland Capital, and in the process, we realized after all the years I've been in the insurance industry as well, we must have started the same week, I think, many years ago. <laughs> uh, but I, I actually believe that there is a, a definite need for this. So mm -hmm. we, we knew that if we didn't come up with a name right for it, people wouldn't understand what it is. So we came up with Muse. And that's where we came up with it, mm -hmm. just, just to like, let's, let's join this. So the people <coughs> that Excuse sit me. in my seat, right. the independent insurance brokers who want access to all the best companies and programs, and Muse and Highland do have some special arrangements through uh, firms like Annexus Correct. with Nationwide and right. with Securian. Uh, but you are offering people like me the types of benefits and counsel and services and support right. that I would normally get only if I were a large agency. Well, and maybe not even then. I think that um, I'm, I'm taking these out, Bill, because what you said has really choked me up. Ah. And uh, <coughs> so excuse the audience while I do this or I'm going to sound really bad. Um, I think you're exactly right. I think most people in this industry, um, they all started the same way for pretty much. In the career system. Absolutely. And in the career system, it's very difficult to get more hands-on training than you want as you grow into the business. So when we created Muse, we were able to do things for people because our deal is simply to say to you, hey, look, we can help you grow, and if we help you grow, we'd like you to work with us. It's just that simple. There's no fees, there's no expense, mm -hmm. other than can we help somebody? So the compensation that I would get from Muse as a producer is going to basically be the same that I would get from any other BGA, but then I'm going to get access to all of Highland's resources, Correct. and it's all going to be filtered <clears throat> down to me through you and your team at Muse. Correct. So That's this is really, uh, there's a term in the insurance industry called no-brainer, Yeah. but for independent producers out there that really want to grow their business and want to serve their clients better so mm -hmm. that they can live better longer, right. uh, they really ought to talk to you. Well, I would love it if they did. Um, we're, it's an invitation only club, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, we're not taking everybody in. Uh, we want to sit down with somebody, talk to them first like we did together, and say, can we help you? And maybe we can't. And if we can't, we'll tell you honestly, we can't help you. Mm -hmm. We're kind of like the, uh, the personal trainer that takes you to the gym. Um, I can't make you lift the weights, but I can tell you which weights to lift and what to eat and how to do things. And we don't do any of that. We don't take anybody to the gym, Bill. It moves. <sighs> Boy. Um, yeah, but it, seriously, I do think it's something that is sorely lacking in our in industry today. Mm -hmm. And I think it's something that um, we have found success with early on. I think it's just going to grow from here. So for those independent producers who are watching the show or seeing it later on demand, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Is it through your website, uh, Highland HCB? Or no, actually, it's Highland Muse, 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 H -H com. Com. Right. There, I knew I'd get you to say it. Right. Yeah, <coughs> and so through MuseHCB.com, they can find your contact information and reach out to you. They can. We're on LinkedIn, obviously. Mm -hmm. People know my name. You can look me up, give me a call. We'd love to talk to anybody out there that wants to have a Muse mm -hmm. in their business. That'd be super. And again, I've been very impressed with the people at Highland that have been assigned to your team at Muse to support me. The in-house underwriting, the case design people, the licensing and compensation people have all been first rate so far. We try to hire the best people we possibly can to make up for me, Bill. Greg, that's awfully sweet of you. Just saying. Yeah, really. So, at any rate, uh, what else can you tell me at this point about Vitality before we wrap the show up? I know that you're not a John Hancock guy anymore, but I right. know that you're very passionate about it. If somebody has a John Hancock policy, should they have been contacted already at this point? About Muse? About, uh, no, about, about Muse, Vitality. Sorry, about, about Vitality? Um, I think there are certainly people out there who are selling policies from every carrier. But if they sell a John Hancock policy, I'm not sure why they wouldn't have certainly talked about that mm -hmm. already. And if they haven't, they should talk to somebody like yourself, 
who could guide them through the whole steps of doing it. Um, there may be a way to be able to switch the policy to a vitality policy or just change the policy up a little mm -hmm. bit to do that. Because I know people that have bought John Hancock policies from me that go back a number of years and right. I'm just wondering whether they're participating and I think I probably need to get back to them and find out. I think you're right. And, and it's going to take Hancock a, a while, I would guess, to, to get back to all their policyholders. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a little bit of time because uh, they just announced that pr fairly recently. But I think it is something that people should look at. Mm -hmm. and, and regardless of whether you buy Vitality or, or any other type of product that might come up in the next few years, looking at life insurance and looking at long-term care is some of the things you can't control in life. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're doing any type of financial planning or estate planning, it's one of the things you have to look at first because it's something you can't control. Mm -hmm. There's too far, way too far people few people in our, in our uh, society today in America that do not have enough life insurance. And one last question yeah. about Highland and Muse. Uh, I mentioned before a nexus. A nexus is a Scottsdale, Arizona based firm that's very, very innovative in creating index strategies yes. for annuities and life insurance. They are. Uh, Highland has a, a relationship with them, do they not? They have a relationship with them. and. Um, my experience with them is they really know what they're doing in terms of the managing of the policy. And in index policies, uh, as I'm sure you know, it's not about the illustration that you're looking at, it's more about how is the policy going to perform mm -hmm. over time. And I think they're very good at that and very innovative in the way they've looked at things. So another thing to look at, another example of an insurance carrier who's gone into a, a little bit different direction than everybody else. And usually when that happens, it works out very well for the consumer as well. Isn't it nice to know that there's actually good corporate citizens out there in the insurance business that actually care about the consumer? It is. Indeed. Absolutely. Well, Greg, we're out of time. I want to thank you for making the trip all the way down here from Buffalo, New York. Ah, uh, yes. And the weather's exactly the same, Bill. Oh, just, I can tell. Just different. Yeah, very, very uh, balmy and mild up there, I understand. Yes, very, yes. this time of year it's beautiful. Oh, terrific. Yeah, you well, can see your shadow every day. I'm sorry I had to bring you down here it's to the right. Philadelphia area. It was a pleasure to see you again. Indeed, you too. All so, right. at any rate, my guest Greg Mack, Highland Capital Brokerage's Muse Division. This is Bill Borton. I'll see you next Tuesday at 11 here on RVN TV for more Live Better Longer. Thank you for watching.